This is a 42-year-old female with a history of long-standing myelopathy and a diagnosis of intradural lipoma of the cervical spine extending through the cervicomedullary junction. The images demonstrate a well-circumscribed T1 hyperintense mass extending from the inferior most aspect of the posterior cranial fossa through the foramen magnum, which has been surgically enlarged. The lesion of face is the surgically enlarged upper and middle cervical spinal region. The lesion is also T2 hyperintense and suppresses on the fat-suppressed images. There are T1 hypointense components of the lesion which reflect severely gliotic and myelomalacic neural elements extending from the level of the lower brainstem through the upper and mid-cervical spinal region. The sagittal fat-suppressed image demonstrates profound myelomalacia in the lower cervical spinal cord extending to the upper thoracic spine. The majority of intradural lipomas are extramedullary in location and adjacent to the cord substance. Lipomas may occasionally involve the cord substance itself and rarely be centered in the substance of the cord itself. Typical age of presentation is in the second to third decades of life with no gender predilection. Treatment choices include surgical resection, if feasible. If resection cannot be safely performed, as in this case, decompression of the affected areas is performed for enlargement of the spinal canal to decrease the risk of subsequent myelomalacia.